How's it going everyone? JKXVX here, back on Forza Horizon 4 once again. Yes, I know everyone, I am alive, don't you worry. As I've been saying, I'm in a bit of a quiet stage with my channel at the moment. I don't want to just force out random uploads. I want to keep them good and meaningful. Um, it's just getting a bit better, a bit, <laughs> I'm stuttering now. It's getting a bit better lately, so keep an eye out for the channel for more videos. There's a GTR video coming soon as well. Big news on that. So let me get to the topic of today's video, which I think is very interesting and I've been wanting to do for a while now. It's regarding new cars coming to Forza Horizon 4. Now, usually we don't actually know what's coming out until every update. That's, that makes sense. However, back just over a year ago now, at the very end of 2019, there was a leaked car list um, that was released. Um, I can't quite remember where it came from, but it basically just contained 134 different cars supposedly leaked coming to Horizon 4. And back then, none of the cars were in the game, but a year and a bit later now, we can look back at this list and see which cars have been added and how many were correct. And if, if the ratio is quite good, we can take an educated guess at which cars are coming next to the game. Now, obviously, if you just grabbed 134 different cars, put them on a list, the chances are eventually some of these would have been added to the game, um, especially if they were known cars. However, this list has been so incredibly accurate that this, this list does have a meaning and it does make sense. Now, here's a list that was released back in December 2019. It was a very big list. It had lots of cool cars on it, none of which were in the game. We had no idea which ones were going to come. As I said, there's 134 cars in total. I might be missing one or two because the list was actually very random and jumbled up and different on every website, but I believe this is the correct one. And what I'm going to do now is highlight in green every single car which was added after this was leaked so this is a leaked car list every car that's going green in a second is every car which was added and correct from the leaked car list there you are at first glance it may not seem like a huge amount but that is enough for me to confirm that this leaked car list is definitely correct now there may be one or two on here that I'm missing. I try to look through every single update video, every single update article and tick off every car which was added. I may have missed a couple. I don't think I have. Um, I think it's fairly accurate. But there's 134 cars on this list and a total of 40 were actually added to the game so far. Now you'll see that two of them are marked red, I'll get to this in a minute, um, but I am including the red ones in the count, so it's around 40, 41 cars. Now if you divide 134 by 40, that basically tells you that from the entire leaked car list, 34% of the cars have been added so far. 34%. Now, that's honestly quite a lot. That means that one in every three cars on this list has eventually been added. And this, I show you agree, confirms that this, this is absolute, absolutely legitimate. Now, the majority of the cars that have been added which aren't on this list, so new cars to Horizon 4 which weren't on this list and were very unexpected, the majority of them have been the new hypercars like the Koenigsegg and the Toyotas and Mitsubishis. Those weren't on this list, apart from one Mitsubishi actually, which is a Mitsubishi Starion. Other than that, the majority of normal cars which have been added to the game to Horizon 4 have been on this car list. I've not got the exact percentage or number about that, that's going to be quite hard to find, but if it wasn't a special car like a Toyota or a Mitsubishi or an unexpected one like the Jesco, it's been on this leaked car list. And I've really wanted to bring this to all of your attention since the leaked car list isn't talked about much lately, um, but from what I've what, from what we figured out today, it is an extremely good indicator as to what cars we're going to get next. Which brings me to my next thing, which is the red ones. Now, as you know, every month there's something called Torben Tuesday, um, which is basically where we're given clues about the next update. These are clues from Playground Games themselves about the next update. Now, unfortunately, I was honestly planning on doing a video on last month's Torben Tuesday, or last week's, sorry, but I missed it. I just completely lost track of the dates. Um, I was really busy in real life, and I, it just it just happened, and I just missed the opportunity. So I thought, I'll not waste my time doing a video that some people have probably already seen. 
I'll just mention it now. Um, the clues that we were given last week are heavily pointing towards the Peugeot 207 S2000. And I don't know how to pronounce this. Let me figure it out. Hang on. There we go. I've looked it up. It's called the Razia Techion or something. I think that's right. Um, both of the clues from last week about, I believe it's going to be update 33, which releases next week. There'll be an update video on that for sure. Both of the clues were hinting towards those two cars, which just happened to be on the leaked car list, which I'm on about right now. So even up to today, th this very update, which we're getting next week, both of the clues about the cars, which we are guessing, are on this leaked car list. Um, the Razor and the Peugeot 207 S2000. Now, if you look at this as closely, I've noticed that the majority of these cars that are in green are either really old or really new. You'll see they say 2018, 2018, 2019, uh, 2018, or, you know, 1990, 1964, 1979. Very, very old. There doesn't seem to be any in the middle, which is very strange. Yes, there's a couple, but not many. Now, this tells me that they, they seem to like to focus on the, the more exciting cars from this list, the newer cars which means we can make sort of educated, random guesses as to what cars off this list we may see next. Now, cars like the Lamborghini Espada and the Maserati Quattroporte and Gran Turismo, they're cars which I just, I feel hard to believe that they won't add to the game eventually. They're very good cars that are on this list, and the McLaren M6 GT as well. I'd like to say the P1 GTR, but we'll see about that. The Mitsubishi FTO, we've already got all the other Mitsubishis, we were giving a, a, a an extra one, so why not another extra one? Now, if you look at the Renaults, you may remember we got basically a Renault update. We got loads of Renaults added at once, 99% um, of which were on the leaked car list. It almost cleaned out the entire Renault section. Um, will we get a similar thing for like the Porsches, for example? Were we going to get a Porsche themed update where we get all them? Or maybe the Fords, there's quite a few Fords left, although last update um, was mostly Fords. There's no real way of guessing exactly which cars will be coming next, but obviously it's all broke up on screen. All the ones in black are not added yet, so if there's any there that pique your eye, I, yeah, I would say there's a chance that you could expect it at some point in the game. So yes, this is a video also talking about next week's update. It seems like we're definitely getting the Razor Tachyon and the Peugeot 207, that's almost confirmed, so there's a bonus thing for today's video. Anyway guys, that's really all I wanted to show today's video, sort of do an update on the leaked car list, because back when we spoke about it, it really wasn't a big deal. Um, as we've been getting new cars, we have been ticking off the cars as they've come, um, but now, with a proper look over, it looks a lot more interesting than I thought. 34% of the cars on this list have been correct so far. Anyway guys, make sure to leave a like if you've enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already for more Forza Horizon 4 content, and I'll see you all later.